G'day everyone, Daniel here from Chicken Caravan. Today I'm chatting with Russell John. How are you, Russell? Yeah, I'm great, Daniel. All, all the better to see you, mate. Yeah. I wanted to wanted to chat with you today because you were one of the very first people that had a Chicken Caravan 30. So to let people know, when we first built the Chicken Caravan 30, I think it was back in 2016, we built 10 of them as, as prototypes. So we, we'd already done like a, a prototype, but we're like, let's put 10 out there in the marketplace and get some feedback and see if yep. we've made some mistakes or made a winner. And you were one of those 10. So, um, and why, yeah, I, why I wanted to do this call because you've upgraded some of your wheels and that because it's quite a few years old. And I had a look at the yep. Chicken Caravan and I'm going, man, that doesn't look like it's a six or seven year old caravan. So I want to uh, find out, do you remember when you bought it? Was it 2016, maybe? I, 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 but the, I, I, I didn't have time because I've been sort of, uh, had a busy afternoon actually, but I, and I thought, oh, I thought 2013, but it can't be 2013. It, it must have been 26. Well, I, I'm going to, I'll run with 2016, but yeah, uh, I thought it was a little bit early, but anyway, um, we uh, just just a little bit of brief. I, I, I've had chickens since I was probably twelve or thirteen. You know, my grandmother and me, etc. So, um, and then we bought some property uh, twenty odd years ago, um, and um, ever since. And I, I'm in the building industry. I'm a plumber by trade, um, and I've been building chicken pens for I don't know how long, and in all sorts of different. You know, in poly pipe and you know drag along and permanent ones and and when I saw that prototype come up, I thought my days of building chicken pens are over. This is this is <laughs> it. This is the thing I've been dreaming about for for a long time, for twenty you know for a long time. And and uh and then once I showed my wife, of course we we need to show our wives these things. Um, she 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 took a little bit to come on board. Um, and then, uh, you know, from from here on in, and we, we both built it together. Um, so I, I said it's easy, um, and and it, and it was, and we had some fun, you know, putting it together. There was a few hours in it, but um, that was fine, and and it was a bit of a uh, sense of achievement, I guess, to, to see it uh, rolling and, and seeing our, our chickens go into it. Um, um, yeah, so it, it was a, it was a real, it was. Oh, I, I haven't regretted it. I, I'd buy one again tomorrow, actually. So, um, and yeah, so one, one of the things, and I was just thinking this afternoon, with since since that's happened, we've got a, a granddaughter. Uh, she's two and a half now, um, young Ally, uh, and she loves it. You know, she knows where the eggs go, and she knows where the chickens, you know, go to roost, and. Um, you know, you know where the water goes and how the chickens drink and you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, it, I, I, yeah, I can honestly say it's been a winner. You know, from from day day one. So, yeah, yeah, but, uh, that, that, that's awesome. And just seeing and what I'll do on this video, I'll show people the pictures that you sent through. Yeah, um, yeah, sure. And one thing which, um, like it doesn't look old and that like it even surprised me like we're talking about something like 2016 like 17 18 19 20 21 22 it's two, 2023 now so we're talking about like 7 years old yeah and correct yeah it, it's looking great so tell me actually yeah. how is it faring up like um it it is um so so we're in port stevens we're we're only um probably one one kilometer or or less from um um Barubi beach and so f we're on the we're on the northern side of of um of Barubi. so when the southerly um blows we get a lot of salt um which which is which is great for you know our plants. I think our plants need a bit of salt and a few minerals and that that come with it. Yeah. Um, but the, uh, for the for the for the amount of rust that our different components, um, it, what it happens to them, um, we you know we've got to be pretty mindful and we you know on the on the job all the time to 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 protect them, but. The chicken caravan, uh, it's been left out in the elements, of course. It doesn't get yeah. wheeled into the shed or have any protection whatsoever. Um, and, and it, you know, and being in the plumbing industry, we, we're pretty aware of electrolysis and, and rust, et cetera. Um, it, it really is not showing no signs of um, 
um, in, in any detriment whatsoever. And I, I know when I, we originally bought it, I thought, oh, wouldn't it be good if it was in colour bond, you know, for, for that reason, you know, yeah. colour bond holds up a little bit better. But um, I, I, I'm not sort of – the zinc alum and the, the gal components uh, are fine. They, and, you know, I'm being in a pretty um, harsh environment. It's, it's holding up really well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, that's probably great. The, the only thing the only thing I did um, there, there was when we were bolting and 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 um, pot riveting together, especially the subframe. There was a couple of places I thought it's going to be hard to um, you know do anything with, and, and I, I just put a little bit of spray of um, fish oil where them joints oh, yeah. were, and that's that's the only thing I did extra. I didn't yeah. really do anything, and um, but it, it's held up really well. Um, you know, the, the, the wheels and being the prototype, you know, we've changed from the, I think, I don't know what you'd call them, a hundred mil or four inch swirl up to a, a six inch, which has been a big improvement. But, yeah. um, as far as the sub, as far as the subframe and the, um, you know, the, 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 the whole structure, um, it's held up really well. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah that's really great. Well. Yeah, yeah. So to let people yeah. know the first one, ones that, um, Russell and the other people got, they were like wheelbarrow wheels. So they'll sort of narrow and, um, but now the wheels are sort of wide and sort of got like a flat bottom on them. So, um, yeah. yeah. So when we look at some of the, like we've got some staff and they look back at some of the old photos and go, what was that? Like, are they just like, like really small wheels? And then over time we're like, and, and the wheels we get now, like they're custom made that we're like, we want them yeah. this big and that whatever. And um, yes, yeah, so you've upgraded that. So no, it's just really cool just to see it going strong and just seeing how pleased you are like years later. It's not one of those things. Oh, remember that thing we bought that we're like, no one uses or we hate now. You're just like, no, it's going great yeah. guns. Um, and, and getting back to what, what you said about, even about the, the, the wheels, you know, it's, it's real. And I've, I've sort of followed you guys. Um, and, and cause it, you know, with, with uh, through email, et cetera. And, um, you know, it's just seen, it's good to see how progressive you've been, you know, since 2016 from that prototype. You know, it's, I, I, I'd love to see that where people are just looking for continual improvement, um, to get a better product. And I, I, I sort of, I, I've really, I do get excited about it. And I tell people, you know, get to tell people and go, and they, and they see it in the paddock and they go, what the hell's that? <laughs> Looks like something out of the moon landing. And I go, well, you know, come, come and have a look. And, you know, yeah. I've, I've never seen a person walk away, um, you know, like disappointed or, yeah. or blase about it. They, they they sort of, oh, wow. Yeah. You know, it just, and I said, the only thing I don't like about it, I didn't come up with the idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. And, and it was, yeah. It was good. A few months ago, you helped us out at uh, Tokyo Field Days in the Hunter Valley, and um, yeah. if you don't mind, I'll share share a picture of you in your green shirt in front of the uh, of the of our marquee there. And it was great to yeah, have yeah. you there. As and and we like to sort of involve the customers in that in it. So when someone comes up, we're not just sort of some nameless, faceless company and goes, "Oh, are these products any good?" You were there going, yeah. "Well, hang on." I'm yeah, just a customer. Right. Yes, they are good. Yeah. So yeah, 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 no, yeah for sure. And and that, that I had a really good good day. I, I wasn't. I was a little bit unsure how the day was going to unfold. Um, and you know, having um Brad there as a basically, a, I, I thought I knew a fair bit. Oh, and and having Brad there as a, a basically a mentor. And yeah. Um, any question I come up with, and and some are. I, I, I sort of tend to, if someone asks me a question, I don't, um, and I don't know the answer. Not not just with this as well, but um, I, I like to know what the facts are. Um, you know, I, I, I can sort of spin a story like anyone else, but you know, <laughs> I, so. Oh, and all I had to do was ask Brad. I thought, mate, I don't, this this customer has asked me this question. I yeah. don't. I'd like to give him the right answer. And Brad, top of his head, would go, "This is what it is," and and then yeah. I could go back with that. With the correct information, yeah, um, and and but but talk, um, you know, and, and talk from experience from having a um, you know, having the caravan for for a long period of time, and, and yeah. I think people actually think, well, I, I'm not here to sell. I, I am here to sell you one, but I, I am to tell you, um, if this is this is a this is a, a long term thing, 
Yeah, yeah, you know, that's it's, right. It's a long, it's a long term um, um, device. Oh, I was going to say a device, not an appliance. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a, long, it's a, it's a long, it's a long term, um, um, you know, caravan that that you can house your chickens safely and yeah. But I, I had a great time at Tokal. I'd love to do it again, actually. Even, yeah. even knowing a little bit more than what I did, but um, I, I think. Uh, I thought I was passionate about it, and I, I um, and I don't work for you guys, but seeing Brad, <laughs> seeing Brad, how passionate he was, and I thought, yeah. man, that's that's unreal. That's, yeah. that's, and he said, he said, well, you ought to see Daniel when he comes. <laughs> and I thought, oh, well, one day, one day. Like, yeah, like, I, I got down to just... yeah, Tokyo's on for three days. I did a day trip, and I I, I went down there for a day, and I, I try and have a quick walk around. And then yeah. be, be at the site, and it's funny because yeah. I think it was last year I was at Tokal, and um, John and and Brad were there, and we, we we've now got this running joke: never send Daniel to go get the steak sandwiches for lunch because what happens is I get about fifty meters from the site, and then a customer sees me. And it happened <laughs> so much because I'll, I'll just go get a steak sandwich and then a customer said, oh, how are you going? And then literally yeah. the lady that is serving me um, to say, hey, can I get a steak sandwich? She owns a chicken caravan 30. So I'm like, oh, wherever I go. Yeah. Like... And, yeah. And you, so and you can't walk cool. away. You can't walk away. From no. Yeah. So, so yeah. they sort of had this joke of like, if Daniel says he's getting a steak sandwich, like yeah. he's going to be gone for yeah. hours. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Order him an hour earlier. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, that's, so. that, that was cool. We, there, there was a lot of interest, you know, on, on the Saturday up at Tokal and, yeah. Um, you know, it's especially with the and and the caravan um tens, um that they, they a lot a lot of people just um yeah 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 just because how unique they are and you know their shape and how you know the aesthetics of them is just you know well completely different than the than than the than the thirty yeah um, but there's a lot of people yeah it, it was it was fun I, I I said to Brad at the end I I've had fun yeah yeah that's good. That's good. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, well, I really appreciate your time today, Russell. I just wanted to jump yeah. on that call and just, yeah, share with some people, yeah, your experience with your chicken yeah. cutting company. So, yeah. yeah. No, nah, that's that's fine, mate. I'm I'm happy to I'm happy to talk about um, chicken caravans anytime, actually. And yeah, because yeah, like I said right at the beginning, I, I I've been making them in one form or, or another, or chicken pens, not chicken caravans, but yeah, uh, mobile ones. And like I said right at the beginning, uh, the day I saw that prototype, I thought my days of <laughs> building things are over. That's it. Yeah. That's it, and and I, and I and I was right. It hasn't, you know, it's been fantastic. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, so mate, I thank you to you and, and your crew. You know how professional you you guys are, and um, how, how passionate it, it it is. Like quite uplifting, to tell you the truth. So yeah, yeah. keep up the good work. Yeah, thank you. You have a good afternoon. Yeah.